in this session let me tell you what is meant by react to power or how react to power flow will happen okay actually many many students don't know this and i can say most of the faculties also frankly speaking okay means like you know how what is how reactive power and reactive power already you know about reactive power that means in the sending receiving end the side receiving end of the uh, transmission side if any inductive dominated circuit is there because of that in the transmission line magnitude of currents will be increased okay and area of cross section of acsr conductor should be increased okay such that like you know transmission line losses for an operating engineer and for a design engineer investment because area of cross section of acsr conductor has to be increased so investment also will be more okay about that let me go in detail because means uh, like you know many feel like like you know in many of the students mind uh, they'll think like dc dc okay for example sending end voltage can be less receiving end voltage can be more in negative voltage regulation or maybe ferranti effect of uh, what do you say power systems so if sending end voltage is less receiving end voltage is more how from sending end to receiving end power uh, will be tra transmitted okay so let us uh, take that okay first of all what is meant by react to and react to power if we see for example if i have voltage waveform like this okay so we are going to have only this is going to be voltage this is going to be current okay so means let me ask you one thing vi okay current is entering into positive terminal of voltage now active power will be absorbed or delivered by this many feel like you know yeah it is absorbing power it may not be true it may not be true in ac if it is dc like you know voltage multiplied by current entering into positive terminal is nothing but power absorbed something like that but that power absorbed can be negated negative in case of ac let us see that okay so for example this voltage is this okay so let me think of currents my currents are lagging behind it okay by some angle theta for example okay what is uh, power now instantaneous power now voltage multiplied by current okay instantaneous voltage multiplied by instantaneous current so voltage is zero here so v multiplied by i will be zero i is zero here v multiplied by i will be zero and voltage is positive current is negative so net uh, instantaneous power will be negative so this is going to be ne means let me think of instantaneous power instantaneous power my instantaneous power is going to be negated here and positive and negative here and positive and negative negative okay so this is going to be instantaneous power and if you see that instantaneous power what is the net resultant power net resultant uh, what is the average power is going to be positive p average so it is actually absorbing the active power now this particular v and i if i divide into two components this is going to be voltage and this is going to be current okay let me divide this current into two components this is going to be in phase component ip and this is going to be reactive component ix okay so vi theta vi cos theta is going to be active power and vi sin theta is nothing but v into ix we call it as reactive power again what is reactive power it is not a power in that case why we are calculating reactive power because at the receiving end of the transmission line like you know uh, reactive power may be there but the, because of this reactive power net magnitude of current is increased so transmission line losses is increased that's why we will try to compensate that reactive power such that if ic can be here like this if i connect capacitor means uh, il plus ic can be ip such that magnitude of current is going to be reduced transmission line losses and all will be reduced anyway coming to the point means for the same for the same structure let me think of my voltage is like this sinusoid okay my current waveform is leading for example leading okay so if it is leading let me think of my active power sorry instantaneous power so instantaneous power instantaneous power 
instantaneous power is going to be positive multiplied by negative negative positive multiplied by positive positive so instantaneous power is going to be this is instantaneous power okay in this instantaneous power also what is p average is positive means that it is actually absorbing the active power okay so if i try to take voltage and the current is leading no current is leading no so in this like you know my inline power is going to be ip inline component and 90 degrees leading is going to be ix reactive power component okay in this also reactive power will be there but reactive power as i said reactive power is not a power okay now let us think of if like you know current is lagging behind by more than 90 degrees more than 90 degrees what will happen okay so for example this is voltage voltage now let me think of my current is lagging behind by more than 90 degrees more than 90 degrees so let me think of current is lagging behind by this is 90 more than 90 more than 90 okay so more than 90 now let us calculate instantaneous power now you will you will understand you will understand the effect of ac power okay now let me think of instantaneous power instantaneous power okay instantaneous power is going to be here positive multiplied by negative negative positive multiplied by positive positive so my instantaneous power is going to be means voltage is zero v by v into i is zero v multiplied by i so It will be like this okay so means what is the average power now the average power is becoming negative p average is becoming negative so coming to here see here means voltage is sinusoid current is also sinusoid but current is placed with respect to voltage with more than 90 degrees leading more than 90 degrees lagging if it is more than 90 degrees lagging means my actually this particular element is delivering active power okay basically current is sinusoid zero positive max zero negative max zero positive max zero negative max and this particular voltage is sinusoid zero positive max zero negative max zero positive max zero negative max and this particular current waveform with respect to voltage if you see that current waveform is lagging behind by more than 90 degrees then complete structure is changed and this is actually delivering reactive power okay means if i try to draw the phasor voltage 90 degrees my current is lagging behind by more than 90 degrees more than 90 degrees so this is going to be current under that condition what is reactive power is this okay reactive power component and the active power component is this okay so it is what it is doing actually if i think of current component lagging behind voltage by 90 degrees is absorbing reactive power okay so what what it is actually it is absorbing reactive power and it is delivering active power okay it is absorbing reactive power it is delivering reactive power so from starting point of view if you see my current component is lagging behind by 90 degrees so reactive power is going to be positive it, it is absorbing reactive power and here it is absorbing active power also so absorbed power is going to be p plus jq okay it is absorbing active power also and it is absorbing reactive power also and if you see here okay it is absorbing active power because v inline component is in the same direction so it is absorbing active power but reactive power it is supplying okay so this is going to be minus jq is going to be absorbed power and if i come to here if i come to here this is going to be minus p plus jq okay so it is absorbing the active power and it is delivering active power okay now actually uh, our ec guys may feel that means this is possible in the physical world this is possible in the physical world and this is not possible in the physical world they may feel but okay forget about them but at least electrical guys should uh, feel that do we have any example for this yes induction generator in induction generator current direction will not be changed 
current direction will be same as motor only and voltage polarities will not be changed it will be same only but that current is placed at more than 90 degrees with respect to voltage such that it will absorb reactive power while delivering active power okay so we should come out of the feeling like you know means induction generator how it is absorbing uh, what do you say active power sorry how it is absorbing reactive power and how it is delivering active power by placing your current waveform with more than 90 degrees with respect to the voltage automatically m means direction of actual power flow or active power flow will be reversed okay now let me tell you one more very basic concept like you know for example in negative voltage regulation of transformer okay in negative voltage regulation of transformer many times people feel sending and voltage will be less receiving and voltage will be more under that conditions from receiving and to sending and power should come how from sending and to receiving and power is going because this is actually should be known for ac okay now see here for example let me think of resistance reactance Voltage regulation of transformer, if you see, this is going to be RE2, this is going to be XE2, this is going to be E2, this is going to be V2. Now, if it is operating at lagging power factor, lagging power factor, voltage regulation is going to be positive. Means that, compared to here, this voltage will be less. Okay. Now, if you think of leading power factors, at leading power factors, what is voltage regulation? It can be negative. So, the moment leading power factor, it can be negative, it can be negative, means that immediately what will happen, this particular receiving and voltage magnitude will be more, sending and voltage magnitude will be less, okay, kind of, so see, for example, this is Vy, this is Vx, okay, same thing can be used in transmission line, same thing can be used in alternator, okay, same thing can be used in any power flow, AC power flow with resistance and inductance, okay in the transmission line or anywhere so this is going to be some resistance some reactance okay if it is operating at leading power factor if it is operating at leading power factor this magnitude will be more compared to here okay under that condition how actually power is flowing from here to here because this voltage is more this voltage is less but i say the active power flow will be in this direction only okay so in this direction only active power flow will be there but here voltage will be more here voltage will be less that is the like you know thing we have to understand in ac okay for example of course in detail i cannot uh, what do you say there draw the waveforms okay but you will try to understand and you can draw some p spice or matlab uh, logic for this automatically you will come to know okay for example this is vx this is vx this vx series this okay now vy 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 magnitude can be more so rms value of rms value of vy can be more but if vy is lagging behind vx by less than 90 degrees power flow will be in this direction only okay let us see if i think of this as v y vy is lagging behind this with more magnitude more magnitude more magnitude okay so then what will happen see for example for time being for time being let us think of there is no resistance because drawing this can be a bit easy bit easy okay so what is the current here for example if i think of current here how come means uh, there is the waveform of current should be drawn means my current is flowing through reactance so vx minus vy is going to be voltage across this okay vx minus vy is going to be voltage across this for that voltage with respect to that voltage my current should be lagging behind by 90 degrees okay so for example this is vx minus vy in the sense vy should be flipped okay and vx minus vy with respect to that 90 degrees lag current should be taken and for example receiving and power is going to be vy where is this this red more vy multiplied by i you are going to get this waveform okay or this waveform this waveform such that power flow will be in one direction only for example of course i'm going to try okay and like you know directly rather than vx minus vy let me keep vx plus vy just to tell you vx plus vy is going to be vx is zero vy is here it will be here and it will be here and it will be this side and here this is zero so this side and this is zero so the here and maybe somewhere here when it is zero it will be here 
when it is 0 it will be here okay so if I try to draw like this okay so vx plus vy with respect to this voltage waveform of course vx minus vy we have to draw but it's okay with respect to this voltage waveform current waveform should be 90 degrees lag behind okay then vy multiplied by that particular current instantaneous value if you see negative side it will be more positive side it will be sorry negative side it will be less positive side it will be more negative side it will be less positive side it will be more such that the actual power flow will be transferring from here to here so in ac in ac okay sending end voltage should be more receiving end voltage should be less in order to have current flow from here to here is wrong but in AC, which is deciding the direction of active power flow or reactive power flow, the waveform of the current, for example, see here, means position of waveform of current with respect to the voltage will decide. Okay, if position of waveform of current is 90 degrees, more than 90 degrees lag with respect to voltage, power flow will be in other direction. Okay, similarly here also, though voltage of receiving end voltage is more, sending end voltage is less, but power flow can be flowing from here to here, that all depends upon position of Vx and Vy. Okay, so if Vy is lagging behind Vx, okay, for example, if this is at an angle 0, if this is at an angle plus 15 degrees, enough okay so with respect to this if this is leading or with respect to this if this is lagging automatically power flow will flow from here to here okay so if you want to really see the phasor diagram sorry or they say waveforms of this you please like you know write a um, some code in matlab or somewhere automatically you will come to know okay and next thing is means always feel that position of waveforms matters in ac not like you know magnitudes matter in ac Okay, in the next session we will continue with synchronous.